Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land. Got the Mac Anthem with our diesel tanker because I topped it off with some diesel from our diesel production. We are done processing the soybeans over. I've already been over to the main farm and topped off that, that source tanker. And I had to get this done right away because our Lexian, which is currently harvesting the corn over there, is getting low on diesel. So I'm kind of hoping it can finish the harvest. Um, I'll have to keep checking on it. Hopefully I'll get a warning that says the Lexian is low on fuel and I can just go top it off. But anyways, yeah, the corn harvest is going on over there. Uh, oh yeah, also behind me, you can kind of see the silage bunker is covered because I'm done compacting that. I did that with the 9R for quite a while. I also got uh, one of the Franks. They are in the old soybean field that we harvested this month, actually. Uh, yep, they're picking up the stones there, so that's going on. Now I'm going to head on down to the orchard farm and top off that diesel storage area that we have so I can top off Landini with fuel or whatever that may need fuel down there. And we're going to sell the rest of the diesel fuel. Or should I just keep it? Now nah, we'll go ahead and sell it. Might as well go ahead and sell it. I, th I thought, well, maybe I'll just keep it and that way I can keep topping off our tanks. But I can't see myself using 15,000 liters of diesel uh, until next season. And we're going to be slowly making diesel because we do have one of our greenhouses making soybeans. Um, so that brings you up to speed. Now, since I recorded last episode and now that I'm recording this one, there has been an update to our BGA. Uh, but the sad part is, in order for me to update that, I got to delete the old BGA to put up the new one. So there's been a lot of changes to the BGA from reading the channel log. So if you've been following the series well enough, you've seen, or not seen, well, you probably have seen. You also heard me, oh wait, I was going to the, yep, sorry, I got to turn around. I got so uh, focused on selling diesel, I forgot to go up to the orchard to top off the diesel tank up there. But you probably heard me talk about the BGA a couple of times, making money when I didn't know where I was getting the product from. Um, so they kind of mentioned that in the channel log to where I guess we were getting double materials sometimes at the BGA. So the update takes care of that. But the reason why we got to sell it is because the inputs and output ratios have kind of changed. So in order for that fix to happen, you got to pretty much sell your, your BGA that you have and place down the new one. Uh, I'm probably going to take care of that later on in the month because currently we are still processing some stuff. So basically what I'm going to end up doing is when the BGA gets done processing the sugar beet that I have in there, um... I am going to write down the amount of digestate that we have, and that's pretty much about it. And then I'm just going to delete everything. It doesn't say what I have to, to delete from the BGA. I don't think I have to delete the, like the digestate tanker, because I can't see that making a difference. But I'm going to delete everything that has to do with that mod, and then reinstall the mod and place everything back down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at to see where our money situation is, uh, sell everything that's there. And then replace everything back down as best I can. And then make our money uh, equal to what we were before I sold everything. If that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to do that off camera, of course. That's going to take a little bit of a while. And then, of course, when I put my digestate tanker back down. I'm going to have to uh, see how much digestate I had in there. And then go into the XML file and put it back in there. So I'm going to be doing that in between maybe this episode and the next one uh, so now with the current BGA status that we're going to have with the update yeah the input output materials uh, the ratios are going to be a little bit different but also they reduce the income that we get from the BGA as well I guess a lot of people in the community and I kind of agree to some point that the BGA was just making way too much money but I don't know if that was because of the double inputs that we were somehow getting once in a while or what but uh, yeah, we'll be updating the BGA to the current one. I think it's going to be looking pretty close to the way we way we have it now. It's just a matter of putting everything back down. But yeah, I'll be taking care of that in between episodes, hopefully. Anyways, we got about 6,769 liters left of diesel. Let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, I think it usually goes for about 1,200 per 1,000. So we're going to end up with around, what, 9,000 or so? in cash going into our bank account and the only place we are going to sell fuel is up here at the shop 
Maybe they'll be happy to get some nice clean diesel that was just made this morning. So I need to get that corn harvest kind of get going because uh, currently our original TMR mixer is pretty much out of materials. I did not want to. Uh, so yeah, if you look at the money there, 8,500 for the diesel we sold plus 1,200 for our, our environmental score. So pretty close to 10 grand. But our old TMR mixer is out of material except for mineral feed and some silage. So I do believe we got straw in the modern food uh, what's that thing called i keep i keep trying to guess what it's called but it's modern food something or other modern animal food yeah so what we need here not for pig food but tmr fast with meal uh let's see of course i need cornmeal you know what, Let's, let me go ahead and just activate that so the cornmeal might get transferred right on over here uh we need hay and uh, we already got silage over here. Yeah, we got a little bit of silage. And, of course, we got straw in here. We should have put a lot of straw in here. Almost 50,000 liters. We got plenty of silage. Uh, we got plenty of hay, actually. So I just need the cornmeal, which we do have some of. But I need to get that up and going because our old TMR mixer doesn't have any TMR in it. So we need to get that production up and going. Oh, wait. What else did I need from there? Uh, nothing. So wait, what do I need the corn? Oh, the corn's for the pig food. Pig food fast with meal. Yep, corn. Let me go ahead and activate that as well. We got oats in there. And the soybeans going to not have the soybeans there. But if we go to our diesel production, hopefully I got that on distribute. So now that that mod is on, hopefully it'll distribute the corn, gluten meal, and the soybean meal over to there. And then we can start getting... We can start getting our wonderful, wonderful TMR and pig food. I hope, anyways. Uh, I'm going to bring the tanker on back and bring the Mac Anthem over. we got to unload our Lexian. So I'll see you in just a moment over at the main farm. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on over here at this cornfield. Um, I did ask them to do two headlands. And I, and I don't know what happened here. Uh, <laughs> kind of interesting, so I'm guessing... I don't know what to guess here. All right, who's responsible for this? That's, that's all I want to know. You did the first headland, fine. We unloaded you, and now you're just doing some crazy stuff. It's like you just decided to skip the whole second headland. Well, I'm a little bit too close. For you, hopefully you can start emptying out there. You're gonna take off, which is fine. So yeah, I kind of got a little goofed up there when I was talking about the modern food production. Uh, yeah, this corn is gonna go into that building there for pig food. And then the two corn fields down south, down by the BGA, that corn's going up to our diesel ethanol production. They'll be making some ethanol, and that's where we're going to finally start getting our corn meal being sent over to the modern food production. All right, as I say, I'm not going to be able to follow you much further because of what you're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and park this up right here, and hopefully you can work your way on around. Since one worker is having some issues, how are we doing over here? All right, you seem to be doing what you should be doing, so that's good. Uh, we're going to jump over to the 9T, uh, 9R, sorry, which is right back over here. And we're going to go plow one of the sunflower fields, uh, the smallest one we're going to start with. I want to get the, the fields as much done as I can here in the fall, if not all the way. So we got to plow these fields, we got to stone pick the fields, and then we got to sp uh, spray digestate down on them before we replant next season. Now the only field I won't spray the digestate down on will be 
the soybean field because soybeans don't really require any fertilization at all. I am thinking I'm going to try to do the other uh, sunflower field with all the beehives in it. I think I'm going to try using coarse play to see how that handles it just for future references for myself. Uh, I got to find out at some point if coarse play can handle the beehives there. I'm assuming it's going to. I just don't know how well it's going to work around the beehives. Meaning it's going to do a circle around them. I just don't know how tight of a circle it can do. Or is it going to get hung up on them? I don't know. But I think we'll put coarse play to the test at some point. But after I get that BGA done, that's going to be the big thing for a couple of episodes. Once we find out, well, once I get the new BGA it reinstalled. I, I don't see where they say how much of a reduction they went out of the economy on the BGA. They just said they reduced it as far as, far as I can see. Um, so I don't know if they reduced it by like 10, 20 percent, 30 percent. Don't know. But uh, I can't wait to see what the inputs, outputs are like at the updated BGA. Now, as the time you're seeing this video on Friday, I think the update to that modular BGA came out like three days ago. For that, you know, it's been a couple days for me for recording an episode. And I thought my BGA was empty because I wasn't bringing in much money, but I just checked on the BGA and I still got, yeah, about 11, 12,000 liters of sugar beet. Uh, being cut up and there's still some things in the fermenter that are fermenting and I got energy at the generators so all that needs to be processed through before I sell it and then put down the new ones or the updated ones now the only thing I might do is because we got one of the small fermenters there and we got one of the large ones there I may replace a small one with a second big one so I'll have to take that out of my bank account when I uh, when I sell the old one and rebuild it. I'll, I'll, I'll make the price difference come out evenly. I'll try to get as close as I can money-wise. So this field here was a good amount of sunflower along with the other one. Come December, we'll be selling some sunflower oil. Now, someone did mention about, because I've been talking, trying to, you know, keep all the production buildings up and going as best I can. And uh, someone did mention, well, you should put down a silo and store all your extra material there. We don't have any extra material to put on down. Everything we harvest is going right into the production buildings. And uh, we're producing it right on through. It's not like uh, we have excess of anything. Now, I could put down more fields, but that just requires, you know, more work. And I keep saying I'm happy with the amount of fields that we have and the amount of work that we're doing. But I could always put down more fields. We got room for it. But next season, uh, we're going to be expanding into having an olive grove. So that's where a lot of our money is going to go. We know that stuff is not cheap. As for the vineyard, I think we're I'm, I'm fine where it is. <laughs> it does uh, it does take a lot of work going in between the roads. It's not that bad for the size that we have. Someone did mention though, and I have not seen it. I, I must have missed it. But apparently, there's a mod out there that, uh, and they weren't sure either. But they think it multiplies the harvest by five. So if you're doing grapes, I don't know where they got the mod. I didn't see it myself. Part of me says I saw it, but then the other part of me can't remember at all. Which, uh, as we all know, that happens a lot. But, yeah, they said they got a multiplier for harvesting grapes because they do a lot of grapes. And that's how they get more of them. Oh, yeah, speaking of the grapes, uh, all of our grapes have already been processed over to raisins. And they're all sitting over at the cereal production building. And we are making some mad, mad cereal over there. I think we've got about 20,000 liters of cereal already sitting around waiting to be delivered. I think it was, uh, around, I think it was like 19,000 something. Or I could be wrong on that number. I know it was in the teens for sure. 
been looking at a lot of numbers in my production buildings for the past couple of hours. Trying to get things all set. Basically what I was doing with this 9R when I was compacting the chaff and the silo bunker. You know, you do it for about 5-10 minutes. I took a break and looked at my production buildings and went right back at it. I had the heavy fent weight on the back of the 9R and that seemed to help out somewhat. But it took me quite a while to compact that. I think it was about 25 minutes real time of me just going back and forth in that bunker. And I realized I could use course play to set up a course for that. But sometimes on a short course like that, course play, at least in 19, didn't like it too much. At least the way I used to do it anyways. And I was like, yeah, hey, you know, I'll just do it myself. By the time I get the course and tested... But the thing is, once I got the course tested and it worked, I could save the course and never have to do it again. But oh well. That's a lot of silage that we got sitting down there now. A million liters worth. How is this field with the pH? So the pH value is still considered good. It's not perfect, but it's still good. Of course, the nitrogen, we don't ever really know until you put a crop in the field. Because like we said, soybeans pretty much require no nitrogen whatsoever. And then you get things like uh, wheat and the cereal, cereal crop that requires a lot of nitrogen. I'm hoping I did not miss that my combine is full. And with all these stones that we're getting, I need to build up some lime in our storage area because I'm not going to need it next year. But, uh, well, in between this harvest that we just are doing and next year. But after next year, I probably should go back around and spread some lime back down. Try to keep it as good as we can. A few more passes here, and if I don't get the message that the combine is full, then that means I probably missed the message we'll go take care of that and I'll probably jump into the combine myself and finishing harvesting that corn and then I'll drive the combine all the way down to the BGA fields and get started on that corn so we can start making some ethanol although I am going to need to buy a tanker for ethanol fuel so we can sell that now, the ethanol fuel, we'll have to keep our eye on. The diesel, not so much. The diesel price doesn't fluctuate as much. But the ethanol does have a good uh, fluctuation range. So we'll have to keep our eye on that price there. But I need to get that corn into the ethanol plant to get started so I can get start getting some more corn meal. I'm guessing I missed the message that the combine was full. I mean, I may need to top it off with some diesel before I continue on into it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish this field off here. It won't take me about another 90 seconds or so. Alright, I dismissed the worker because, yeah, the combine is starting to flash at me, tell me it needs fuel. And I'm not going to fall for that old trick to where the meter kind of shows like there's fuel left into it, but it's actually empty. So we're going to go over and top off on the diesel and then continue to harvest ourselves because, man, is it messy around here. Uh, I'll have to clean this up quite a bit. I'm not worried about the little stalks here and there. I'm not going to go around and uh, pick off those corn stalks one by one because I'll waste more fuel than it's worth. 
And hopefully I don't actually run out of fuel on the way over there because that would really, really suck. Alright, let's go get some diesel at our storage tank. Uh, do I have a way out of here? Right where I parked my truck, it looks like. Nope, I can go out here. So I do have crop destruction on, so if I were to drive through my crop, it would just destroy it. That's good. Rub right up against your storage tank. Okay, so we are filling on up. It seems to have a pretty darn good fill rate, I think. Might be better than the uh, fuel pumps that we had, or it might be the same. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I actually topped off the combine before we started harvesting this season. I can't remember if I did or didn't when I did the, the wheat field over there last month. How much fuel does this thing hold? Over a thousand liters, that's a 5,000 uh, tanker. And now we're below 4, you know, <laughs> below 4,000, so already chomping through that. We just got this field and the two fields down by the BGA to harvest. And then we are done harvesting for the season. Let's clean this up a little bit. I'm trying to think why they didn't do the second headland because I started them off they went around and when they got to about that corner over there they were full so I unloaded them and they continued on so it's not like I dismissed a worker and rehired a new one and they got confused I didn't even stop the workers so not too sure what happened there it's all good we'll get it all in the tank start making some big food Because next year at this time, I'm guessing we might have 200 pigs at the rate that we're going. Which is way more than double what we have now. I think we got like 70 pigs somewhere around, right around there. But they reproduce every four months once they're mature. So they're going to multiply in a hurry. A big old hurry. top of the hour is upon us so I'm going to be kind of interested to see how much money we're still making an hour our generators are not full of energy they're like maybe one third full of energy so it's not going to be a lot but it still should be pretty darn good I was going to say I'm sitting at 236 ish Go ahead and clean up the rest of this corn. Corn does take up a lot of nutrients, I do believe, as well. So if I were to go in the field, yeah, we're, we're down to five kilograms per hectare. So it, uh, corn eats away at the nitrogen pretty darn good. Although it is a big stock. Um, all right, did I not make money that hour? I thought I was at 236. I forgot now. It wasn't 226. I thought, okay. It, does, does, are we not selling the energy down there? Uh, electric charge. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I'll, I'll probably, I'm pretty sure when I go back and look at it, I'll find out what's going on there. So, uh, yes, the soy meal and the corn meal has been distributed from the fuel production plant over to our modern f uh, animal food production. So that's good. I'll do that. So I don't really need to transfer. If you remember earlier, I bought a I bought a trailer to transport that material over, but I don't need to. Because I forgot I did not have that production building on yet, so it's not going to distribute it over there. But now that it's on, it'll get moved over automatically. Alright, I'm actually going to fast forward time again, because <laughs> I thought I said... We were sitting at 2.36 and the money went down. So let me fast forward to the top of the hour one more time here. Alright, so the money did go up a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it went up a little bit. So is the money not being uh, sold from the BGA? From the generators? Does that have to get so much energy in there for it to sell? I have no idea. I just want the BGA to clear itself out so I can sell it all, uh, update the mod, and then uh, put everything back down. Shouldn't take me too long to do that. It's just the process of making sure I put in the materials back in where they were when I sold the building. And I'm hoping that when I sell the digestate tanker, it doesn't sell the material that's in it and make money off of it. If it does, I'll have to take that out when I sell it. Of the equation. Almost got a full tank here, and I think that will top off our trailer. Then I'll bring the trailer on over to the animal food production. Actually, there is a lot of corn here still. Don't think I'm even halfway yet. That is us full. And I'm pretty sure we're going to top off the trailer. Like I said, I don't think it's going to empty the combine completely. And that's all it's going to take. All right, leave that off and leave that right there. I should check the forecast and make sure we don't, don't have no rain coming the rest of the day. Uh, where is the forecast? Way up here. Uh, no, it shows it cloudy all the way through until... Well, rain will get here, but not until like 11 o'clock at night. So I should be able to get these cornfields harvested before then. So I'm thinking next year the horse field here, we planted sorghum last year, but I think next year it's going to be oats. It's mainly going to be oats, some soybean and corn and sunflowers again. Because those are the main things we got to keep going. I don't need that much soybean. I think that field that we're doing is just fine. Along with that greenhouse, we'll produce some decent amount of diesel throughout the year.
And who knows, all this corn that I'm going to get off this field, I don't know if I need that much corn to make pig food. It's just hard to gauge how much pig food I actually need. The one thing I'll have to look, because um, I got kind of used to it in 19. In 19, with the Seasons mod, on the animal buildings, if you clicked on them, it would tell you roughly how much food you're going to need for that set of animals for a year. So you could gauge yourself. I don't know if it does that in 22. Let's have a look at it once I start dumping off this corn. Alright, so if I go into animals, does it say roughly how much food I need for the year? Yeah, I'm not seeing that. So like in uh, in FS19 with the Seasons mod, if you were if you were like on the free range pigsty large, like I think down in here it would say estimated food for the year, and it would tell you how many liters of food that they would go through in a year. But uh, we don't have that to kind of gauge on it. So right now, okay, we may have more than I thought. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. Okay, we already got 130 pigs. That's double of what I thought we had. So they're multiplying faster and faster and faster. But the good thing is they're not going through the pig food at a fast rate right now. But then again, we're like at uh, maybe 40% full. So not even halfway yet. I just want to make sure I got enough food for them. It's better to have more than not enough. Let me finish emptying out the combine. I'm going to park the truck a little bit closer over to where we currently are. Um, how are we doing on the stone picking? Are we done with the stone picking yet? Uh, just about. They're almost done. Uh, which is good because uh, I'm pretty much done with this episode. I got to go out and... Uh, get some housework done this evening before it gets too dark so i'm pretty much out of time so that it will do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always i'll catch you again right here in no man's land but until then have a good one <laughs>